And we're back with some more RimWorld. At the moment, I've just sent a, a niece out on a little quest to sell off some of the gunk we've managed to accumulate. So currently, she's on the world map and she's heading towards uh, Ramden? Ramden? Ah, whatever. She's heading towards their nearest location. Uh, in the meantime, what we're going to do is, well, collect up all the animals around the map. I've been hmm, hunting animals, but then I realized I had no spot left for them. So what I've started doing is taking the meat and I took the meat, I got Anita to bring, to drag a whole bunch of the meat and she's going to go off and sell it. There's actually plenty of meat on this world and I just haven't been selling it. I used to do this in the original playthroughs, sell the meat off, but I had so many bad starts on this with uh, volcanic winters and toxic fogs, I never thought to do it. But I think this time we will. So let's see uh, how Anita's se uh, selling goes and uh, we'll see what Randy throws at us at the same time. Anita has arrived at Rimton. Let's see what kind of trade deals we can get there today. Uh, you're negotiating Anita. Cannot hear properly because of poor health. Oh, yeah, her ear got crushed, didn't it? Yeah, I might want to do something about that. Would you look at this? An Arcotech arm. Well, I just happened to collect such things. Uh, I'll probably have to pay a little bit of a premium because uh, Anita's got a bit of a bad ear, but I don't care. Even with that, selling all the meat and all the coats... I'm still coming out 596 ahead, so yeah, we'll take that deal. Uh, does it actually sell ears here? No, I'm just going to have to research one. Also, I'm selling off the AI Persona Core because, yeah, I have, I have no intention of leaving anytime soon. Well, we can always pick up more AI Persona Cores. That's how it works, right? Uh, well, uh, we'll skip this forward some more. And you know what? We need some more meat. Uh, I want to butcher this up so I can make some space. You see, there's some animals over here and they're going to go off or spoil if I don't get them into storage. Yeah, so I'm going to want you to start butchering as many things as possible so we can make some space. Anita made it back, and Randy has not decided to do anything horrible just yet. Okay, so we'll bring Anita back in. Oh, that reminds me. Operations. I need to have uh, this arm. I want to put it on Dog's body because they do a lot of work that this arm would help out. But I need to do an operation, so that means Kai needs to step up and do it. Unfortunately, though... They need to have about a 12 in medical before I'm going to allow them to do that. So it's time for some more operations on Ving Vikinger here. Um, there's, okay, the good and the bad of operating on this guy, because this is, okay, this is pretty horrific what's going on here. This person is 78. Uh, at the same time, they've got a torso problem, which is frail, which reduces their movement. Um, oh, also for the birthday, they got given a bad back by Randy. Thanks for that, Randy. But, yeah, whatever. What it means is, if I give them one wooden leg, they don't have enough mobility to get out of bed, which is a problem. So with one leg missing and one wooden leg, they can't get out of bed, which means I can just queue up, say, ooh, uh, remove the right leg, and then add uh, another part, which is install peg leg on the left leg. And that will get, whoever does the operations will do both in a row, and then they'll have maximum experience for the day. So every day, someone can gain over 4,000 ex uh, medical experience just by operating on Vikinger. Which is ridiculous. Okay, it does cost me some medicine, but uh, I grew some medicine over here in our medicine field, so that's fine. I've got a fair bit of that coming in. I've also grown a bunch of hay grass, or what's it called? Yeah, hay grass? Hay. I'm storing it up here in what's effectively a barn. This is in case we get any more of that toxic wind or we get toxic fog during the winter. I'll at least have somewhere to store my animals and keep them fed. Oh, and wow, that's a lot of animals. Uh, do I have any more animals yet? There's, oh, look, I still haven't brought this one in. You know what? We're going to have to make some more space in here. I'm afraid you're going to have to butcher some more. Just so that we have enough storage space for all the animals that are out there. I mean, Jeez. Yeah. Uh, but we'll cut this forward. In the morning, we're going to send Anita out on another mission. I think we're going to stock her up with even more meat because, yeah, we've got plenty of meat to last us for a while longer. And how many, how many, much wildlife do we have left? We have a fair bit of wildlife we could uh, bring in as well. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the morning brings us. Uh, first thing that uh, Randy brings us is an, an eclipse. Okay, that does absolutely nothing to us. We don't have solar. Uh, how's Kai doing on his medical right now? Just performed the second operation. Oh yeah, the, the reason why it's so nice that a uh, Vikinger can't get out of bed is it means there's no way for them to have a mental break and there's no way for them to cause us any problems, which means we can now just go, well, let's remove that left leg and let's uh, install a peg leg on the right leg. And that means they will still be unable to get out of bed or cause us any hassle, which is sort of terrifying and a little bit dark. But it does mean we get lots and lots of medical experience for our, do for our pawns. As you can see right now, our fridge is overflowing with meat. Uh, also on the mini-map up here in the top right, you can see we have lots of fires going on. Not going to worry about either of those. Uh, what we are going to get around to is we are going to load up a caravan. Oh, 
This caravan doesn't seem to have been emptied yet. You know what? Let's uh, let's get our animals in here for unloading. Well, now that they're unloaded, maybe we should... Actually, now they're unloaded, let's just leave them right there for now. Uh, and we'll see a second here. One there. We're going to get Anita to go on another mission. She's going to take all of that enormous amount of uh, meat that we've accumulated and she's going to go on a little sales spree. Uh, probably to over here. We're hoping to find some more Arcotech limbs or, well, anything Arcotech related would be wonderful. Anita, all loaded up with trade goods. I was going to send along White with her. He's got great social. However, I kind of want to keep them around for some work. And just in case anything bad happens while I'm gone, uh, I need some people with weapons around. Though, in all fairness, he doesn't... You know what? He doesn't even carry a weapon. That's right, he's a, he's a Malir. So, yeah, they might as well come along. They can do uh, They can do the sales pitch. I'm sending her off with, uh, well, a bunch of the dusters, most of the meat, and a, a bunch of furs and stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully they have something worth buying at these places. Well, that's that's what we're hoping and praying for. Next up from Randy, we've got some cargo pods, uh, and it's panther meat. Okay, um... Oh, caravan ambushed. That's not good. They've got an awful lot of our resources on it, and the guy's name is Clam? What are you armed with, Clam? You're armed with a short bow and a cloth parka. Okay, this is probably not going to go well for you. Uh, first off, we'll just uh, put the animals in a safe zone. So I put the animals in a quick zone down here. Where is it? Uh, area one. I'm also going to send uh, White off with them because, well, he's useless. And Anita is just going to snipe and run against this one. It shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. They do have a bow, though, so we'll just have to fire and then maneuver. With her Arcotech legs, this should be uh, pretty much a doddle. I don't see this causing any problems whatsoever. Yeah, how much damage did that first hit do? Left leg. Oh, yeah, you're you're not really going to be moving very fast, are you? Ooh. Left leg, left lung, left lung destroyed, torso injured. Yeah, you're going down in eight hours. You know what? Let's have a look at your bio. Wow. Neurotic, which means they break easier, but they have a great global work speed. Abrasive, which means they're ter terrible. Uh, but it's great artistic, great shooting. Yeah, still going to have to kill him. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Where do you think you're going, buddy? No, there's no running away from Anita. Now that she's got you in her sights, you're you're not going to survive. Okay, once once she takes aim again. Oh, damn it! Okay, this time you should die. What the? Are you shooting at white or are you shooting at the animals? I can't tell which. Yeah, okay. I think we got his attention. Seriously, just die already. You've been shot so many times. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, all done. Back on the road. Time to leave this. Uh, Reform caravan, we don't really care about any. I think there's only one thing I want to pick up, and that was uh, some of the stuff they left behind. The bow. Yeah, there was the bow and some pemmican. Beautiful. And the caravan has arrived. Let's see what they've got. Anything to do with Arcotech was exactly what we're looking for. Arcotech leg, bionic spine. Okay, mining neurotech trainer. I don't really care so much about that. Arcotech leg, though, that I can get behind. After... All the selling, which was quite a lot of selling, we managed to rake in, where is it, an Arcotech leg, uh, one flak vest, good, and what was the other one? Ah, yes, a telescope. That telescope will help with the, the mood penalty, that our, well, uh, help the mood for our pawns. Now, time to go back home. Once we're gone home, we're going to install those legs and all of that stuff. Uh, I think I've got operations already queued up here, have I? Yep, two more operations for... Kai, is it? Yeah, I think Kai's my next doctor. And once they've got their doctoring skill up enough, we're going to upgrade Dog's body so that they can move faster and work harder, because they are one of our most industrious dupes right now. Next up is a trade ship from Randy, a bulk goods trader, which I suppose we can... Ooh. Oh, caravan is right back. Which is good, because I forgot to send that caravan out with food, so I think they're pretty hungry right now and not very happy. Yeah, what happened? Dog's body and Ita are no long are started a social fight. God damn it, guys. You just... Uh, never mind. Uh, what's White doing? Attending a party? Well, that that's wonderful. <laughs> well, White, I'm going to need you to call this interplanetary bulk goods trader and let's see what they've got for sale. Nothing worthwhile, but I do get to sell off a bunch of small statues, which is nice. That gives us some more money to work with. Which reminds me, I should uh, get all my animals and put them back into... Uh, put them here so I can get them unloaded. Everything unloaded, and we're swimming in way too much money, which I should really spend. Oof. Yeah, that, that money's all got to go. I'm going to have to go and find somewhere else to trade. How's uh, Anita doing? Has she healed up from her little... Yeah, left ear destroyed. How's Dog's body doing? 
Dog's Body, my number one cook, you're okay. Damn it. <laughs> on the bright side, we were going to queue up operations for you anyway. Ooh, actually, how's uh, Kai doing on their medical training right now? They're up to... Close. Just one more operation and they should be good to go. Vikinger, before I send Anisa off on this next trip, I'm queuing up a couple of operations for Dog's Body. We're going to install an Arcotech leg on the right leg and install an Arcotech shoulder. And the reason I'm giving them the leg and the shoulder, well, the leg anyway, is because... If you look here, their right leg has a scab, uh, stab scar, right foot has an old gunshot, and the right femur has, oh no, it's a crack, and a destroyed toe. Effectively, these are giving this this pawn pain, and they're reducing their mobility. So they move slower, and they've got a problem with pain. If you look under their needs here, they're in serious pain. Well, they're going to have at least minus five in pain because of the bad leg. Uh, while that is going on, though, we're going to send Anita out on another quest. Uh, she's going to... What was that other one city we had? Uh, Clown's Bush. She's going to head off to Clown's Bush and take all this meat with her and see if we can't find some more Arcotech stuff. Now we'll get Anita and White Recruiter. God, that's a terrible name. I've got to give them a new name. Oh, I was going to get rid of them, wasn't I? Yeah, never mind. That will get them. Oh, large part of the caravan's food will rot. Yes, we don't care. This time I actually remember to send some meals with them so that they don't starve to death. Oh, and to make sure that the animals are ready for assessment, let's just get all of them into the... You know, I'm going to have to rename that area. That's where all the mufflos are going to go, and that will stop everyone having to run out and find them, because the mufflos will just show up here. See, here they all come, and they're all getting loaded up with all the meat resources and wild stuff that I've got lying about the place, so that we can go do some more, sh some more selling and buying. Ooh, how's the operations going? How are you looking there, buddy? You've got an architect leg. Excellent. And your architect shoulder is on its way. With that leg installed, you're, yeah, you're down to minor pain. Mm, yeah, they had a minus five to, or they had a minus five to their mood because they were always constantly in pain before, before this. Oh, perfect. Just please. I'm making sure, I'm hoping that there's no accidents in these operations. Even with the best of conditions, you can still have a messed up operation. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Soon we will have super pods. So right now, Dog's Body is super fast and they have better uh, operation skills. Oh, no, movement skills. Let's see. Damn it, I should have checked these all beforehand. Uh, but you'll see their their cooking speed, their construction speed, uh, their movement speed, all of that stuff has gone up. Where's their movement? Uh, their movement is at 409. Well, it could be better, I think. Oh, never mind. They're, if I check them again now, assuming... Where's the F512? That seems more reasonable. So we've got... A very fast, very productive dupe. We should be able to do all our cooking, and they're also set up to do uh, all of our crafting when it comes to clothing. So, yeah, I think that was a good investment of a leg and an arm. Now all I need is some eyes so I can make some really great shooters. Arcotech eyes make an ec a good shooter an excellent shooter. And next up from Randy, it's an exotic goods trader is passing by. It's a pity if White's away. How long are they away? Yeah, they're they're never going to make it back in time, was it? 0.3 of a day, though, to travel. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to see if anyone here has got some decent social skills. Kai is my best social. That's horribly embarrassing. Uh, let's see what they got on offer. Just remembered all my money and resources is currently in a caravan going away from here. Uh, the Arcotech arm I would be interested in. Bionic eye, not so much. Mm, joy wire. Joy wires are always fun, but not for us. I think for, for when it comes to normal bionics, we can eventually research that stuff ourselves. Once we finish all our trading, we'll, we'll get around to doing some research. Just not today. Caravan arrives. Damn, just... I'm really getting suspicious because Randy hasn't told anything horrific at me in a while. It's just, it's making me paranoid that, you know, he hasn't tried to kill me in a bit. Unfortunately, no Arcotech. They do have a lung, a heart, a prosthetic heart, and a bionic ear. I'm almost tempted by the bionic ear because Anita does need it, but you know what? Having a, a, a no ear just builds character. Instead, we're going to pick up, uh, was it, uh, why is there, yeah, this, a uh, flak vest. Is that? You know what? We will sell that wool skin duster. I don't know why that's there in the first place. So we're going to pick up a flak vest. Uh, just one flak vest. And we're also going to pick up two marine helmets. That should give us everything we need. Flak vest, two marine helmets. We can kit out people with some pretty good stuff. Then it's time to head back home. This has been quite a good bit of trading this summer. Also, by the time they get home, hopefully that, uh, that trade ship will still be in orbit. That would be nice. We could buy ourselves another Arcotech arm. So, let's hope they get back in time and uh, skip this forward. Uh, nice little psychic drone from Randy, just to let me know that, he's, uh, that he still cares about me. Nothing we need to worry about just yet.
more up from Randy. We got animal disease flu. Okay, well, oh, should I give them medicine or not? You know what? It might be an idea. You know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna let them survive if they do or not. I don't care. A couple of lost animals will not be the end of the world, considering how many we have. Though I might want to do some more hunting now that I think about. It. Wait, we got a bulk goods trader. Trade ship is passing by, and when do when does our caravan actually get home? It will be home in point one of a day. You know what? We'll just wait until uh, White gets home so we can do some proper trading. Muffalo revenge, probably because I'm slaughtering a bunch of them. Uh, are they all manhunter? Madden manhunter, Madden manhunter. Oh well, good job, Diggity. You're now surrounded by maddened manhunters. That's uh, that's not great. We'll uh, hmm. Yeah. Let's see if we can't get them out of here alive. No, they're they're so dead. Yeah, they're going to end up in a lot of trouble. Uh, you are not close enough. Get over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some changes here. I may have to get everyone involved. Where's the rest of the team? You know, looking at this logically, Diggity is not in any immediate danger. Uh, so the best bet is probably to run. Pull them back into the traps and let them die. If they die in the traps, then we can go out and rescue Diggity. That seems like the sane plan. Uh, that's assuming those animals don't get in that way. You know what? Let's uh, slow this down a bit. Yeah, if they're forced to go the long way around. Oh! Do not be attacking my door. You are going to prioritize repairing that. Hopefully they'll try and go around. Well, okay, that went badly. Uh, turns out the door did not last. Uh, you are going to run. Yes, there we go. You're going to run away and we're going to get someone else to help you. Kai, Kai, come back here. <laughs> How is it that something that was so normal has suddenly turned into absolute chaos? Slowly but surely managed to take out a couple of them. I think that's all the Madden Manhunter's gone. And how's Diggity doing? No immediate danger. Okay, we'll get them back in and uh, healed up. They'll be fine. Now, where's White gone? White, you need to get over here and uh, call the book goods traders? Yeah, you need to call them. Hopefully we can get some trading on. Oh, which reminds me, I should let all these animals out of here. There we go. All the gear unpacked, dumped down in that area. Let's see what we can trade for now. Oh, that's worth picking up off them is some Psychite Tea and some Wake Up. That will come in handy later on. Uh, that's assuming I can get my pawns to it before the animals take it to, decide to take a, a bit of a nip out of it. You know what? Let's uh, prioritize holding that stuff straight away so that no one gets their paws on it. Uh, oh yeah, the cook can't go there. I need it. You can, you can take care of that. Next up, we got Mega Sloth Revenge because I'm just a bad person when it comes to... Uh, Destroying lots and lots of animals. Hey, Grasshopper, uh, time for you to get out of there, I think. That's enough of that. I've been training up all of my... Uh... Oh, I forgot to replace that door, didn't I? You know what? That is a good idea to replace that. Oops. I've been training up all of my um, my pawns in their shooting, just so they can get better at it. So at the same time, I think we're going to have someone play Ring Around the Rosie with this thing. Who's up for that? Well, Kai, once you're finished building those traps, we'll get you in and out. Quick bit of footsie, and we now have a another mega sloth. That gives us lots more heavy leather, is it called? Heavy leather for making some uh, some of the dusters I like so much. Now, when it comes to making clothing, I have a, a few choices. I like to use heavy fur for the or heavy leather for the dusters, just because uh, it gives it well the best protection and it's pretty decent insulation. But for the actual pants themselves, I prefer to use heavy, well, not heavy fur, I prefer to use muffalo wool if at all possible. Though I don't seem to have a lot of that around recently, so I've stopped doing it. Just uh, personal preferences. It does mean that my, even with these dusters, they can survive a nice cold snap in winter and still go outside without any negatives. Next up from Randy, transport pod crash. Seriously, he's being way, way, way too, wow, that was just dropped right on my doorstep. Uh, let's see what we got here. Chemical fascination is just a no-no. They're too hard to keep under control. Uh, I think it's just going to be a quick death for them would be the preferred method. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, melee them down and take them away to storage. We don't need them anymore. Where did Grasshopper go? Oh, yeah. Uh, you, I want you to... 
where is the storage area? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to uh, unselect them and then tell them to prioritize hauling. Once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll get some Molotovs in there and take care of the problem permanently. I really love using Molotovs for corpse disposal. It just makes things so much more efficient. Uh, speed this up a bit, shall we? Uh, also, don't forget to get that cat, that lamb over there. Uh, excellent. Uh, one last thing I did was I roofed over that area. I didn't want any of the um, I didn't want any of the fires getting put out by rain. So even if it rains, that whole area is roofed. So yeah, fine. We've got a nice little incinerator where we can dispose of things. So it turns out I am a muppet because I have been blocking off this area. This uh, has these roofs have been blocking the the wind turbines. So I'm going to remove the roof here, just deconstruct the wall and move the wall up to here. That should hopefully clear things up or at least get those turbines working again. Well, on the bright side, my batteries did not run out, so I suppose it wasn't a complete waste. Oh, and that fire totally escaped. Oops. It'll rain at some point. A oh, mad rat. Seriously? Randy, what is going on? A mad rat? That's all you've got for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. Not complaining. But you used to send raids, like, constantly all the time because it was like you liked me. Now it's just, uh, yeah, we're going to send a rat every so often. That, that rat is probably going to start a fight with an animal and get itself killed. Oh well. Yeah, it, it started a fight with a muffalo and the muffalo just insta-stomped it into the ground. <laughs> good, good job, Ratty. Good job. Oh, thank you, Randy. Next up is a cold snap. We don't care. Uh, it'll kill the crops. Ooh, you know what? I might want to take care of the... Is there anything here worth harvesting? No, I need to get the grass above 50%, but I... I stopped, uh, I turned off replanting on these, sowing, because I knew it was going to get so cold that nothing would happen. But I do want to actually harvest the last of these before the cold snap kills them. Well, anything that's grown far enough that it's worth harvesting. With the harvesting queued up, I'll just get a uh, dog's body or someone here. Oh no, that's outside their light area. Uh, who is it? Kai? Kai, you can go do that. We'll just get them to do that. Oh, oh yeah, someone asked before, you can just hold down shift and then you can queue up all the prioritizations. So this will just mean Kai will go around and do all of these one after another, and then when they're finished, they'll just go back to doing their normal stuff. So hopefully we'll get it. Oh great, no, almost no medicine. Oh no, we got a bit. A little bit of medicine should help us out. Another transport pod crash, but this time with relationship. Uh, let's see. The guy's name is Yang. Let's see if they're worth keeping. Just, just no. They're not worth keeping at all. Uh, Undergrounder is good, but ugly and gourmand is just going to result in, in horrible problems. Their plants and animals are great, but they've no shooting or melee or anything like that. We're just going to let them die. I'm pretty sure Diggity doesn't like them anyway. Where is their social? Yeah, yeah Diggity might, has a minus 35 opinion of them. So them dying, not a problem. Well, they'll just end up over here at some point and we'll have to remember to incinerate them. Finally, Randy. Randy has shown us the love. There is a raid. Uh, let's jump to the location and see what we're dealing with today. Is there anyone close by? No, not yet. This looks like a small ra- Oh! Jeebus Christ. Okay, it's seven scythers. Well, um, hmm, yes, that's not good. Let's see what the movement speed on these suckers is. Uh, 4.7, so they outrun anyone who doesn't have legs, which is only two of my pawns. Shooting accuracy, 96%. Right, do they have ranged weapons or melee weapons? I can't remember. You know what? Who cares? Uh, where is Anita? Anita is going to come out and start annoying them. That will probably be our best bet. Uh, everyone, oh, animals. We're all going to restrict you to a yeah, safe area. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Every single last one of you are going to go in that direction. Uh, the rest of you, oh, you know what? I don't want any of you going outside just yet. But, we're probably going to set up a firing line over here. I'm thinking of firing line, and hopefully they come through the traps. But they don't seem to be going that way. You know what? No, we'll get everyone set up first. So, we'll line everyone up there. We don't need to put them behind the barricades, because I'm pretty sure these aren't ranged. Though, we'll find out in a minute, I suppose. And let's let Anita open fire, see if she can't get off it. Ow! What the? I told all the animals to go home. Well, that's what the muffalo gets for staying outside. You know what? I think we're just going to run. They are moving way too fast for my liking. They can go around the outskirts. What are they doing? They won't go through? 
Okay, that's bad. That is very bad. I heard mention that uh, if a, a site is exposed to traps, they'll never go through that area again. Uh, maybe let's give them an opening then. No, you know what? We'll shoot there. Assuming they break through the wall, which shouldn't take them too long considering it's it's a lump of wood. They can run through here. Uh, and then hopefully get mown down as they run across. Oh, come on. Where are you going? Okay. Um, I'm going to summon the squad together and we're going to go chasing after some scythers. That seems like a terribly bad idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, one of them's coming back. Ooh. This is not going to go well. Oh yeah, we'll have uh, Anita hit the one at the back. We'll have everyone else target the one at the front. That should hopefully stagger it at least a little bit. Oh yeah, white is melee, so... Go on, act as a decoy. Good job, white, good job. You're doing a wonderful job. Oh, crud. More in the rear, more in the rear. <laughs> Oh, no, they hit Anita. That's bad. They hit White. Eh, we don't care so much. That's all fine. Dear Lord, they take a hell of a pounding. I still prefer them over the centipedes. Still definitely prefer them over the centipedes. Dog's body, no, you're my cook. Don't get hurt. Seriously, how is that thing still going? Perfect. Uh, they don't break though, do they? So there's still two left. Uh, where are they? They're over here, probably headed on their way down. Let's just make sure Anita's all good. Yeah, she has a crack on her right Arcotech leg. I, she, I don't think that can even bleed, so she's not even going to care. We'll just group everyone up again and wait for them to round the corner and hopefully massacre them. Yeah, this is not turning out well for them. They have to cross the mud, or this one has to cross the mud, and that makes it rather slow, which means it's then rather dead. And... Oh, are you just... It's over here destroying my batteries. Fine, we'll go over there and give you a nice talking to. Oh, looks like it wants to come down and meet us. No, it's changed its mind again. Oh, seriously? Yeah, you're not breaking in there. That's where the injured are. And I think this is going to be the end of the raid. You're also going to get punched by white. <laughs> Done. Right, I think we've managed to take care of that entire raid. That was not the worst. I really thought that was going to go an awful lot worse than that when I saw what was coming at us. Time to repair the walls and uh, get ready for the next assault. I might want to change out this trap thing. It seems they don't want to go through this area. I presume the last one that went through there triggered it. And now that they know there's traps there, they won't go through. I've read something about that, though I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to do some testing on the side immediately release all the animals. I don't want any of them starving. Though, I think I lost... Yeah, I won, lost one muffalo calf. Mm. Time to queue up all the rebuilding and uh, that I'm going to need to replace all the wall segments that died. There we go. Everyone should spread out to do those tasks. Uh, everyone those first going to, of course, grab a snack because it was a, a long, hard-fought battle. How's White doing, actually? He was the only one that really ended up in close combat. Yeah. Should probably get around to taking care of him. Oh, dog's body's on it. Anyway... That was the first bit of real love Randy shown us in a while. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Seven Scythers was a bit of a surprise. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way to dispose of those corpses. I do have to get the research to scrap them. I just haven't bothered getting around to it yet because there's other things I'm more in a hurry to get the research for. Next up from Randy, Prisoner Rescue Quest. A uh, 50-year-old cave tenderer that's guarded by six people. Yeah, I, I have no intention of going anywhere near that. We're going to wait till after the winter. We're going to go try and stomp on these uh, pirates up here. I want to go on some pirate hunting. Uh, for the time being, though, we're just going to finish off harvesting our food, trying to make as much pemmican as possible, and get ready for a nice long caravan route. If I could go across and smash two pirate bases in one go, that would also be nice. But, but, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see where this goes so far. Let's survive the winter, shall we? Oh, a quick change I had to make. I moved the pigs in here. 
The reason being, they were getting frostbite. It turns out they can't survive the cold like all the other animals. So I should really maybe, I should maybe put them in here for the winter? That might be my only choice. I might have to put them in there and feed them on the hay. But if I do that, I'm also going to have to give them some heating. I'll wait until everyone's finished their cooking, though. Uh, oh, uh, maybe put in a little bit of a storage area in here for them. I've just made that one tile there an important stockpile for hay. Uh, at some point, someone will get around to stocking it up. Uh, you know what? Let's get Dog's Body on that. Mm, nope, can't at all, Dara. I said everyone else is doing some important build work I'd rather not interfere with. I'll find someone. So I may have... Put a little bit of a too much power draw on my system. That combined with all my backup batteries getting destroyed during that Scyther raid uh, probably didn't help. So now I'm down to absolute minimum power generation and that's barely going to keep my fridges and heaters alive. I could probably turn off the refrigeration units considering how cold it is, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're not drawing that much power as is. Oh, there we go. The power's come back on, thankfully, and that will quickly charge up the batteries. So we can turn this light back on. Every time the power goes off or would kick out, I would uh, turn on or off this. There we go. Um, yeah, so two, it turns out two of these, or four, four wind turbines and a couple of batteries cannot sustain one sun lamp and some coolers. However, once I went up to six and put in the batteries, yeah, I've had no problem sustaining the coolers and the heaters to make sure everything works out. Next up from Randy, we have a transport pod crash. Hippo is from your enemy, the Tomahawk Men. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Probably nothing we're going to care about. Yeah, they can't shoot and they're neurotic, which means they have a... Uh, a mental break threshold of plus eight. It just means they're more likely to break. you got to be even nicer with them. I could strip them. What's their gear like? Ooh, Devil Strand pants? Ooh. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, strip you maybe and then we'll let you uh, pass on. Yeah, it's too cold out here. If we Once we strip you, you're either going to wander off the map or you're going to freeze to death. Uh, grasshopper, strip them. They'll uh, stay there for a while and eventually they'll either die or wander off. Either way, don't care. Uh, as far as I can see, we're doing not horrible. That sounds... It, which scares me. <laughs> doing not horrible means Randy's got something in store for me. I don't know what it is yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not good. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to build... Hmm, maybe I should just break this room open and let the two of them connect. That might be a better idea. Huh, you know what, we'll put one heater there and we'll break open this wall. And then I'll let the, uh, the animals stay in there. With that sealed up, yeah, 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 we can let the animals roam around in there and the pig should be able to survive on the hay through the winter without freezing to death. Next up from Randy, a bulk goods trader. Why are, 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 hmm, why is Randy being so nice to me? Was it just, I, I remember that he used to just send wave after wave of raiders at me, but now it seems like I can pass a whole season and I don't see a single raider show up. It's, it's really disturbing. Are they just waiting to send me lots and lots of raiders or was I just unlucky with the first raiders or I don't even know anymore. You know what? We'll see what the bulk goods trader has to offer and we'll see what we've got to sell them. Nothing worth buying. We'll just uh, take the... Take a... Oh, I can't even remember. I sold a few things to them. I think it was some sculptures. Once that's done, yeah, who cares? Uh, let's see what else Randy's got in store for us going forward. Oh, right now, my potato crop is coming in and because it's in, my cook, Dog's Body, is going on an absolute rampage of cooking. They're going to take all the potatoes, combine it with meat, and make as much pemmican as they possibly can. So right now our pemmican supplies are going through the roof. This is perfect. We're going to need that for when we go traveling after the winter is over. Which reminds me, we're almost into winter. Mm. So, 15 days, and then we're out of here. Uh, I should really double down on the research. For the time being, though, I'm stockpiling wood. I'm I've uh, queued up a huge wood harvest, and then we're going to have it all stockpiled in here. Eventually, once everyone gets around to it. And... That should allow us to make a whole bunch of, well, allow Kai to make a whole bunch of statues during the winter and grind us out some more money so we can buy some more Arcotech. There is the Randy we know and love. It's a siege. Ah, excellent. So, uh, let's see what they're packing, shall we? Ah, pump shotgun, some pistols. Ooh, one bolt action. Who's got the bolt action? Two of them have the bolt action. We've got uh, Kaelun and Cherry. So Kaelun and Cherry have just become our number one targets. Um, oh, and is there any of them worth capturing is another thing I should note. Yeah, this one is probably the most fun looking one of the lot of them. They have Jogger and Cannibal. Pretty much bonuses to everything except construction melee and shooting. You know, if they had shooting, I would probably take them because having a Cannibal Jogger that can be used for raiding would be amazing. However, they don't. Still, very interesting, but all the rest are, are pretty terrible. It's time to just get a neat out here and start picking them off from a distance before they get time to set up their mortar. 
Uh, eventually, they'll get annoyed with Anita picking them off from a distance. Uh, what's her... Yeah, her rest is good enough. It's up and about for you, Anita. It's hi-ho, hi-ho, off to do some killing you go. You know what? Might be an idea to grab a snack before you go. You could be away for a while. Yeah, that's perfect. So, um, we'll get her out here and... Wow, they're already putting up their defences. So, what we're going to do here is try and nab Bob. I think Bob's going to get that construction project finished before we get a chance, but... We might be able to get off a shot or two. No, a little bit closer, Anita. A little bit closer. I want to see if we can't give uh, Bob a little welcome here present. Oh, Bob. Why did you have to go out of range? You know what? We will just leave Anita to stand here and shoot at whoever is about. <laughs> you know what? I might be an idea to just start wounding a whole bunch of them. That Oh my god. Jaw. You have one hit point left on your jaw. Probably not good for you. And another hit. How's Bob doing over there? Gunshot to Torso. Yeah, he's not looking too healthy either. Uh, let's try Cherry over here. Cherry's looking a little bit spry. <laughs> oh. Did someone just return fire? Holy crud. Damn, they've got range. You know what? Let's uh, let's let's move back a bit. We don't want to be getting shot at for no reason if we don't have to. And we'll let Nanita do her thing from a distance. Oh, they just launched a mortar shell. That's not good. Uh, I might want to get the rest of my team up here and start getting in a little bit more dangerous on them. Hmm. That might be an idea. You know what? Let's get the entire team up. Except for White. <laughs> we, we, we don't want White. White does not have anything to do with range, so we'll let White go about his, uh, his business. I just want to make sure that that uh, mortar round doesn't hit anything important when it hits. Oof. You know what? Uh, maybe let everyone take care of that fire immediately. Then we'll bring them up to take care of this. Anita can uh, continue picking away at them for a while. I believe eventually if you keep shooting at them, they uh, they come in after you. That... Oh. Damn it, they might have a bit too much good cover there. Uh, maybe time to skimp around the outside edge here and get into cover behind this tree. Well, we do have a little bit of fires going on at home, but Anita is currently sitting over here behind this tree, making their life very uncomfortable. Ah, they've decided that uh, sticking behind is no longer a good idea, so they're now going to charge. Well, good luck with that. Uh, where is my the rest of my pawns? You know what, the rest of my pawns can go hide behind here, and we'll set up a little ambush for them. Uh, meanwhile, Anita's going to... Ow! Here comes another mortar round. Great, that better not be targeting my pawns. Nope, we're good. So, let's take a few pot shots on the way back. Totally forgot to send my animals home. Uh, this was a bad idea. Well, now I'm sending my animals back home now. So, not the worst. Anita's going to have to keep running and gunning. Uh, I think a few of them have rifles, so let's not take too many chances here. I don't want any of them getting close enough to get a tag off on her. Damn, they're pretty quick. What the hell? How are they so quick? Have you been taking some sort of performance enhancing... No, they're just pretty zippy. Though I did check back here and the two rifle people are all the way back over this side. Wait, is that the shotgun guy? I think pretty sure that's the shotgun guy. Yeah, that's pump shotgun. Which means we can play it a little bit faster and looser with these. Let's uh, let's stop and take a shot at Isaac, maybe. Take some pep out of his step a bit. Oh, yeah, you're good. that's going to slow you down a little bit. Well, we'll, uh, we'll give rules here another clip as well, just to make sure... Hey, stop chasing my animals. People who chase my animals normally do not have good days. Uh, oh, we'll just keep running now, though. Those ones actually have pistols that can shoot at us. I don't want any wounding happening here. Uh, ooh, I think we'll take a shot at Faina. Yeah, why not? Hell of a miss. Eh, uh, go in here. Reconnect with everyone else. Oh, white, white, no, no. I know you're expendable, White, but at the same time, I, I would prefer to expend you at a later date with, you know, some other way. Oh. Oh, seriously. Seriously, someone left milk in the door. Oh my god, that is... Oh, this game. Someone left milk in the door so the door is open. Now they can get in that way. That's... That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Hilarious and perfectly fine. Uh, Grasshopper, you can move over a little bit there. Diggity, you can... Uh, you know what, White? Maybe just get a little bit more out of the line of fire. <laughs> Come on in, people. Come on in and enjoy. Hmm. 
That was, uh, relatively painless. And that's all done. Let's let everyone get back to work. Oh. Why are all my animals in there? I thought I sent them to the safe zone. I said, <laughs> Oops. May have sent my animals to the wrong zone by accident. They were meant to go to... Where is it? I thought it was this one? Wait, no. Ah, that zone was where I meant to send them. However, they can now all return back to where they were. Except for the pigs. The pigs have to stay in here because that's the only place where they won't freeze to death, unfortunately. <laughs> Oops. Uh, pets, herbivores, done. Anyway, I think we'll cut out the episode there. This worked out rather well. Um, oh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff up here I can take. Let's uh, unforbid all the items. Uh, can we remove that? We can claim that. Cool. Uh, fine, we have a mortar now. Let's uh, let's place some mortar in here. Yeah, we'll place a mortar right there. We'll uh, place the mortar shells with it, and I think we've got a, ourselves a nice little setup. Uh, we've got six mortar shells. Whoa, there's two mortars? Well, you know what? The anything better than having one mortar is having two. So we'll stick a second mortar here. I believe they explode if they get shot, which is bad, but, you know, we'll sort something out. Anyway, I am uh, hope you enjoyed our, our little ra raid session here. I think uh, I'm kind of feeling better now that Randy's thrown some stuff at us because we were able to handle it. Uh, the, that When he's not attacking you, you're just like, come on, seriously, just just throw something at me. I, I need to know what I, what I should be expecting here next. That that was not too bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and uh, good luck.